talk about some interesting statistics with Jokic and what you may or may not want him to do as Zoo calls his own number, leaps and leads, and gets the first bucket for the Clippers of the league. The Nuggets have three of the top five. Contavious Caldwell Pope is in all three of them. Definitely an unsung hero. Tough shot by man inside. Uh, I think with, with this partnership with Levy, with 310 Provisions, it's going to create the ultimate in food for the fan experience. Okay, I am so excited. Thank you so much for joining us, Gillian. That was drawn up in the timeout. Make Harden the feeder from the elbow or a little back pick. Watson given some space and lets it fly. It's not there. And George has the rebound. Harden looking down the court and then calls his own number. Crashing into defenders. Counted on a foul. An old-fashioned continuation. And now Harden taking the ball right into the defender, initiating the contact. He's kind of forgetting that when he gets there, he's going to encounter Jokic. The big man's going to affect his shot. Turnover. Here comes Harden the other way. Behind the back pass to Leonard in the corner. And now they find George open for three. This is for the lead. He put it in. Gordon, not much of a three-point shooter right now in the season. Tough pass for Jokic to field. It's another turnover, the eighth for Denver. Powell accelerates down the lane to the rim and in. Nine to shoot for George. Takes Porter off the bounce, spins, fades, fires. What a tough shot. Paul George with a dozen puts the Clippers back out in front by a bucket. Watch that shot. Turns his back. That's what creates the space as he steps back, gets it up over the top of Porter. 12 to shoot, Leonard surrounded by Caldwell, Pope, and Gordon. George quickly around Jokic, stops and punches it in with a right. Jokic gets him on his side. He's got that baseline. Now watch right here. There's a little bit of a push off. Jokic with a good job of acting right there. And then PG throws it down. Once he knows Jokic is out of there, he's not going to try and block it. George picked up by his one-time roommate, Reggie Jackson. Ball pulls straight to the shoot. Is he aware? Beats the buzzer. Oh, they put it in from Wish to Swish. Paul George knocks down the tray. I wonder if Paul George knows that the shot clock is running down. Well, three. There it goes. You see it up on top right there. You got three, two, and just before it goes off, PG with the three. 239 to play in the third. Nuggets have outscored the Clippers 21 to 16. Jokic intercepted by Powell. A rare turnover for Jokic. Ahead to Leonard to the rim and in. Timeout Denver. To Kawhi Leonard. There's the interception. Center it up. Got a guy in the right and the left. Kawhi's the man. Westbrook in space attacks. Seven to shoot for George, requesting a screen. Launches the three. Oh, he put it in! Clock running down. Paul George wants a screen. He gets the switch. He gets some leaning, but missing. And Jokic has the rebound. Looking for the whistle. Doesn't get it. And now Reggie Jackson off to the races to the rim. Lobs it to Brown. Deflected. Recovered by Powell. Challenges Jokic at the eye. Take a look at this block shot. Reggie Jackson going up and right there, Westbrook comes in, blocks the second shot opportunity. Incredible effort. And then Norm Nixon, he knows Jokic is waiting for him. That little sidestep gave him the look. Trying to get a little oxygen in their lungs. Again, for a game in December, there is a lot of intensity. Harden gets to it. Point of the beat. Back to Ryan. defense of the Clippers has turned this thing around. You see the deflection. Who gets there? Turn this thing around. You see the deflection. Who gets there first? James Harden. He knows who's coming down. Hawaii. Offensively, Clippers 10 for 19. Murray back to Jokic. Oh! Better luck next time, says Sue. Nine of 31. Watch Zoo go after it. You think it's a layup? Zoo comes back. Knocks it out of bounds. George making his way over to Christina. 111 to 102. Feel good about this one, for sure. 
Uh, nice comeback win on Saturday. Big three by Paul George. And now a start here tonight as well as he's joining Christina. Thank you so much, Brian. Uh, PG, in a game that you guys absolutely needed, you go the distance in the fourth quarter. You felt the electricity, the urgency. How would you describe the way you guys finished this game? Uh, I thought we turned it around. I mean, we were sloppy today. Um, three days off leading into the, to tonight's game. We were a little sloppy. Um, but we, we hung in there. We stuck it out. Uh, we played together. We got stops. And, uh, you know, down the stretch, we made big baskets. You had 25 points tonight, including five three-pointers. Just describe the confidence you shoot the ball with, regardless of what defenses are throwing at you. I mean, that was the only thing falling for me tonight. Uh, I couldn't make a layup. Um, so, you know, why not make the difficult ones? Um, but, you know, it's just every shot you shoot with confidence, and, uh, you know, that's what we work on. You guys have preached consistency, and you string together back-to-back -to -back wins. What is coming together that has allowed you guys to do this? Um, I mean, I, I think we're just taking this one game at a time. Um, it's a long season. You know, we just one game at a time approach. You know, we're not looking too far ahead. Um, we're just staying in the moment, trying to get better each game. And, uh, you know, we're, we're scrapping out here. So, uh, you know, when, when any time it comes to that, we plan for 48 minutes. Um, we'll live with the results. All right. Thanks, PG. Appreciate it. And great stuff out of Paul George here tonight for a team that lost six in a row in the first 20 games. They're now 10 and 10 thanks to plays like this. Clippers are winners over Denver 111 to 102.